My name is Ray Sorensen, better known as Bubba. We're at the Freedom Rock, which I paint as a tribute to our military men and women. And uh, we're just outside of Greenfield, Iowa. It's been painted on for the past, I don't know, over 40 years, you know, it was a graffiti rock. And I always wondered what would it be like if somebody took their time to actually paint it in the middle of the day and get something uh, nice on there. When I was 19, uh, and then after I'd seen the movie, uh, Saving Private Ryan, I was inspired and I went out to paint the rock. I sketched a lot, painted a little bit with tempera paints, but uh, my first real painting was the Freedom Rock. I went out there and painted the flag raising at Iwo Jima, and thank you veterans for our freedom. What better billboard than right next to Highway 25 and you know this giant 90 ton boulder. I could spend all year painting that thing, you know, but I've uh, condensed it down to around the 1st of May when I get a good weather day because it's out in the middle of nowhere to Memorial Day, and I'm always done by Memorial Day. In 2006, I was uh, visited by a large biker group who started in California and they picked up riders as they were going and they were going to the wall in D.C. for Memorial Day. And one of the guys asked if it would be all right if he sprinkled some ashes of a recently fallen Vietnam veteran brother of his. And I said, that's fine, but it's really windy out here, probably just going to blow away in the wind. Why don't you dump him in my green paint? I'll paint him into this helicopter and he'll be here forever. Well, ever since, people have heard stories about that. I've received veterans' ashes from all over the country. The Vietnam veterans didn't get much of a thank you when they came home, so this is kind of my way to give them a special thank you. I'm visited by thousands of veterans while I'm painting and then throughout the year here at my studio and you know they visit online with Facebook and everything and just hearing their stories of service and sacrifice and then family members who've, ha who've lost loved ones and things like that, you know that's the continued inspiration, that's what keeps me going. If I won the Casey's Famous People contest, I would love to do something special for my wife and I can't wait to throw a big pizza party for my hometown.